Now to our NBC News investigation into a 2017 New Mexico school shooting and warning signs that may have been missed. The shooter was interviewed by the FBI long before he opened fire. And tonight, for the first time, you will hear part of that interview. Here's Ken Delanian. Looking back at something Jamie Latin can't escape. I know she's not coming back, but I haven't had to hit that wall yet. Haunted, not just by the violent death of her 17-year-old daughter. How do you describe the coolest person you've ever met? But her belief that it should have been prevented. Casey Marquez, a cheerleader and gymnastics coach, was shot and killed alongside Paco Fernandez, a football player, in a hallway of their Aztec New Mexico high school. The 21-year-old shooter ending his own life as police closed in. It's just a shame that he wasn't on our, our radar. But there were warning signs. Long before the gunman walked through an unlocked school door in 2017, his hoodie concealing a handgun, he left a trail of hate and despair online using handles like future mass shooter. In 2012, he was suspended after writing a timeline of the Columbine school shooting on a whiteboard. He dropped out, and court records say the school never told police what happened. Then came this online threat the year before the killings. Plotting mass shooting. Any suggestions for weapons that are good for killing lots of people within a budget? prompting the FBI to send two agents to question him at home. I mean, it's apparent you've studied all the mass shooting, the school shootings you've studied. In this audio obtained exclusively by NBC News, the future shooter convinces the agents it's all a sick joke. I don't want to shoot people because I know what it's been like to be through hell. My violence is through just offending people online. What goes through your mind when you hear that? He was mocking him. He mentioned other shooters, but he's really talking about himself. I guess my question for you is kind of what assurance can you give us? Oh, you guys can put me on a watch list and watch me and stuff. But there is no school shooter watch list. The FBI urged his parents to monitor him, but closed the case, saying they found no threat to the community. In wrongful death lawsuits filed against the FBI, the school district, and the local police, Latin and her lawyers say the system failed. Had the FBI just simply gone down the road and asked a few more questions, they would have known there's something very wrong here. The lawsuits say the FBI never told the school about the online threat and that local police did not take critical action. The Aztec Police Department had a police officer who was assigned to the school. That person was never told, you know, by the way, there's a guy who was a former student who, you know, is threatening to shoot the school. Citing the litigation, neither the school district nor the Aztec police would comment to NBC News. In court papers, they deny wrongdoing. A judge ruled the FBI can't be sued in this case, but the bureau still declined to talk. Catherine Schweit formerly ran the FBI's active shooter program. She reviewed the case for NBC News and defended how the bureau handled it. Even though he talked about a lot of different things, they are still just words. I don't see anything that the FBI should have done and they didn't do. Latin says she will keep pushing for accountability, driven by her daughter's words in a poem found after her death. <laughs> the songs you've heard, conversations you've had will soon become a memory. To make sure Casey will not be forgotten. Ken Delanian, NBC News, Aztec, New Mexico. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.